We hope that one time we can really use the retina as a window to the brain to understand better neuropsychiatric disease. Hi, um, here's Florian from Max Planck Institute of Psychiatry. I want to provide you a short wrap up of our latest paper published in JAMA Psychiatry. What we know is that several neuropsychiatric disease are complex genetic disease. So there is not just one single gene causing the disease, there are several genes. And what we investigated was whether the accumulation of this gene sets are specifically enriched for specific cell types in the retina. And what we revealed um, was that, for example, in multiple sclerosis, not that surprised, the genetic risk was especially enriched in immune cell types. Our second disease that was mostly affected was schizophrenia. And what we observed here was that neuronal cell types were specifically affected by the genetics of schizophrenia. Our cellular top hit for schizophrenia were the amacrine cells. The genetic enrichment for the amacrine cells was driven by genes that are relevant for synapse biology. And when we translated our genetic findings back to humans, we observed that with a higher genetic risk for schizophrenia, we see a thinner layer of the retina, the GCEPL, which hosts the synapse of the amacrine cells. So in sum, we think that the C-specific mechanisms are driving the retinal alterations. And we hope that with our study, we can provide for the field evidence that studying the retina um, allows us to understand much more about brain disease. And we hope that one time we can really use the retina as a window to the brain to understand better neuropsychiatric disease.